everyone, it's Colin from DIY Guy. Thanks so much for checking out today's video where I'll be making a trellis for some green beans. These are the Blue Lake Pole Bean. Um, I got these from Everwild. And you can already see behind me, I've got a trellis that has cucumbers, zucchini, snap peas, and some of these green beans already. However, I wanted to have enough to be able to freeze over the winter and eat some in the off season, especially while I'm uh, craving that garden, those garden veggies and twiddling my thumbs waiting to get outside again. So behind me, I've cleared out some of my lettuce patch. It's actually supposed to be low 90s this week. And I thought, you know, Michaela and I don't eat enough lettuce um, to have four rows of it. A lot of it just goes to waste. So I cleared out some of that. And what I'm gonna do is build a trellis that's kind of, it's not quite a teepee. It's more like a triangle all the way down the rows. So on either side of this triangle, I'm gonna have, uh, I think, six beans planted, and they're gonna kind of grow up and form a peak. And so my trellis is gonna be about five feet high, four and a half feet high, and then the beans will grow up the side. And I also left one row of lettuce on the left side, which is, let's see, comes up in the east, goes down in the west. So um, on the west side of this trellis, I'm gonna have another row of lettuce. And I'm gonna see if it can actually grow during the summer when it's partially shaded by these green beans. So hopefully the green beans come up fast enough to where they can shade the lettuce before it bolts. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and just build this for you in real time. If you enjoy this content, uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Helps me out a ton. All right, so this isn't supposed to be anything super advanced. Uh, you know, I didn't go out and spend any money. I actually got this wood from an entertainment center I found on the side of the road. And so all I did was rip these boards into uh, three quarter inch squares, and they're about five feet long. About, I think I made them 63 inches just because that's the max I can make them. And so what I'm gonna do is kind of stick them in the ground just like this. So I'll make kind of a pyramid. It, it'll be a really steep pyramid, but just like this. Uh, so kind of TP style. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take some twine and tie them together. And then once I get all six of them, I'm gonna go ahead and lay one on top and then I'll tie, I'll tie that in just so it supports it uh, in the uh, front back direction. And so here, I've got uh, my rows about, uh, my plants will be about eight inches apart and my rows are about, um, you know, 14 inches apart. So here is my, I think it was like a thousand yards of twine. It's actually coming super handy. I used it to build the trellis that you see in the background. So I'm gonna cut off little pieces of this and that'll be what I use to tie these boards together. And on the ends here, I actually uh, 45 degreed them. That way they stick in the ground a little better than just a flat stub end. Okay, so I've got all the little TPs in place. Now the last thing I need to do is put the long board across the top of this, and then I'll fasten them all together, and hopefully it'll be pretty sturdy. So I stuck them all in the ground about an inch or two. Um, should be plenty once they're all together. Now I'm actually just gonna go ahead and cut this to length a little bit. So I'm just gonna uh, cut about a foot and a half off of this. Okay, here we go. Okay, I do not claim for this to be any sort of marvel of modern engineering or anything, but it will do the job. <laughs> so I'm just tying it down snug enough to hold it. Um, if you wanted to, you could nail them all together with a nail gun or something, but I don't like to have nails in all my boards. That way I can just burn them when I'm done with them. So as you start to tie them down, you'll notice that some are pushed in farther than the others. And so as I get to the end, when I start pushing that end down, it wants to pry these up. So I kind of have to find the one in the middle that's holding everything up. So I think it's this one. I just need to push it in a little farther. And then that way this will come down without raising all these up. Okay, here's the finished product. So it is pretty sturdy. Um, you know, it, it could be pushed in the ground a little more. I could maybe put some extra supports against, against these front legs to keep it from moving a little more, but left and right, it's definitely not gonna go anywhere. Uh, the beans, as they grow up, will also kind of anchor it to the ground. Their roots will uh, anchor the plants, and then the, uh, as they trellis up, all that's just gonna kind of hold it, hold it close to the ground, hold it tight to the ground. And so that's it. Now the last thing to do is just plant my beans. And so obviously you know how to plant beans, but 
so I'm not going to walk through that. But I just wanted to show you this. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. I appreciate it, and keep growing it yourself.